Hey guys, what's up? So as you may recall, earlier today I put out a video basically saying, hey, if you have any teams you'd like me to bring out and look at, I would be glad to go over them and critique them. Um, in this video here, comment soon. Comment your SS team and team building critique video soon. So I um, actually got a lot of support. Um, not only did the video receive north of 40 likes, which is cool for a non-live, Obviously, I'd like to see even more and more views, but you know, we're working there, we're working there, for sure. Um, but also, we received almost 30 teams already, and probably close to 40 some odd comments, which is really cool. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go over all of these teams in ways that I can improve them. Right now, we have 28 teams, and I'm going to keep the um, comments, well, they're always going to be open, but I'm going to let you guys comment more teams if you want over the next day or two, so I'm expecting it to get north of 30. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make this a three-part video. I'm expecting it to be around 33 teams. Right now we have 28, so it's fits for five more. Worst case scenario, we get even more than that. We get an outpouring of support and I have to make it a four or a five-part video, no big deal. But we're gonna shoot for 10 to 11 teams per video. Um, so that means we're gonna cover the first 11 teams. In this video, I think we're gonna stop um, between the Kiro GN second team um, and the Milo Mosquera stall team. So that means Milo is gonna be the first team of the next video, so don't worry, buddy. But yeah, um, so you, if your team is down here, one of these 20 some odd teams I'm not quite covering yet, I'll scroll all the way down just so you can see. It stops at um, Volt Fire Core. Then um, if your team is one of those teams, it doesn't, isn't the first 11. So what, not the Kiro GN, Ueve, Mr. Ferocious, Kloshi, Eric Karp, Nate Carter, Nick Dixon, Tapeworm, or Raymond St. John or Kyrgyzian again. Um, if you're not one of those 11 people and you only are interested in me seeing me critique your team, then I'd appreciate the view and I'd love for you to stay and look um, at what I'm doing here because A, what I'm doing is valuable metagame knowledge that I'm dropping and team building critique that I'm giving. And it could be a really useful tool to people looking to get better at the game, people looking to improve at team building and just people trying to figure out what may be good, what may not be as good. And I think this could be valuable not only for newer players, but also for people who may play other tiers and want to get into SSLU. So I'd love for you guys to stay, but I completely understand if you're just selfish, you've got you know, a lot of other things to do, you just want to see me go over your team. So what's going to happen is um, I will go over you guys in the future part. So I'm going to try and go over like who I'm going through at the start of every video so you guys can kind of see that. This is a little like team preview, if you will, of the teams that I'm going to be like going through, previewing, if you will. So yeah. But today, um, if I just mentioned your name in the last list from Kira GN all the way down to the other Kira GN team, including Nueve, Ferocious, etc., you guys, I'm going to be going through the teams you posted today. And if you guys have other teams you want to post, maybe I can get you in the fourth or fifth part, but I am just went through the order of YouTube had the comments in, so this isn't chronological. It's just, I guess, based on like the amount of likes and stuff you might have received in your comments or whatever, just the order they showed in the YouTube algorithm. I don't know how it works, but I will say that according to YouTube algorithm, asking for likes and asking you guys to add things and comment things in the comments is important. So if you enjoyed this team building practice video and you enjoyed the help I gave you guys in your team in particular, leave a like, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And on top of that, comment your favorite part of the video or your favorite team of the bunch. I'm actually gonna put the pokey paste of all of them in the movie description of the video if I remember. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Now I'm just gonna ignore PM. Oh, already blocked him. Okay, perfect. And now let's get on into things. Oh wait, before I do one last thing, let me know if these dimensions are okay. I've struggled to record dimensions properly when doing team builder to not make it look like clunky when it transitions to YouTube. So yeah, that's also something that's really important. But um, anyway, we're gonna start with the first Kyrogen team. I also made a note, he asked for no Clefable in the comment, and I guess this team also no Clefable later on, but also he said he wants me to roast this team. So yeah, I just made a little parentheses so I'd remember everything. I'm um, still learning a lot about you guys, your YouTube names, and um, also just the stuff that you're wishing to say in the comments and what you prefer. Um, but I am going to make an active effort to make to know the guys that frequent my channel because I know it's not the biggest community right now and you guys mean a lot to me. Anyway, let's look at this team. You guys came here for team building. So, yeah. The first team consists of Cinderace, Hippowdon, Hydreigon, Rio Nicholas, Corviknight, and Cloyster. This looks really scattered to me. Um, I think there's a lot of good pieces to the puzzle, but there are definitely some vulnerabilities that I struggle with. Um, first and foremost, you lack Earthquake on Hippowdon. And I know Toxic and Slack Off and Ruin Stealth Rock, they all offer great deals of utility you know why. But generally speaking, you kind of need Stealth Rock, Slack Off, and Earthquake, and then you run, run a War, War, Whirlwind, Roar or Toxic. Which, I mean, Whirlwind or Toxic, really. Whirlwind's more common. Um, is it a matter of PP? 
I think that if Roar is a sound move, yeah, that's why. So Whirlwind's always better than Roar when possible, just for what it's worth. I'm gonna make it that for sure. But anyway, let's look through the sets. Uh, this set's mostly fine. Um, Dunkshot is pretty Marina, which is cool. However, you're pretty weak to it regardless of the fact as it sets up on your Corviknight set. Yeah, um, and on your hip hop, on your Hydreigon, and you don't have Earthquake. Okay, there are definitely some changes that need to be made here. Um, I also have opened some tabs that I always have open when I team build. The damage calculator, of course, for cocking spreads. Viability rankings, just, you know, make sure that I'm going through all the threats, because why the hell not? Um, yeah. And last but not least, the speed tiers. In case I want to make an EV spread that I can cover some specific speed. I also have my handy and dandy water bottle, which I'm going to take a sip out of right now. But yeah, um, so for those of you that don't know, I'm actually recording this. It's Friday night at 11.50 p.m., so I'm probably going to go to like 12.30, 12.50, whatever how long this takes. And um, it'll probably be uploaded sometime tomorrow, because weekends tend to be a little busier for me. Wait, oh crap, I need to go back to the old video and put it on a loop. Don't give me an ad. Oh crap, okay. That isn't what I intended, so this is a little hiccup here. And this happens when recording. Especially because this is probably going to be very unedited. I don't tend to edit in general, but in this particular, it's going to be very unedited. Anyway, um, so let's give examples of why you power down these earthquakes. Let's say you're facing a zero aura, and maybe it's the snazzy calm mind set. That set just wins because you can't take the plus one grass nut and kill it with earthquake. Um, it outruns this, and you don't have sucker punch. Um, it kills this a plus one, plus two, and you can't kill you with calm mind. I mean, this is no recovery and it's not side shock, so yeah. And this and this obviously just die. Even if this is sash, you got sand, so it's actually gonna be negated. You can't really run Cloister without um without King's Rock either in my eyes. It kind of defeats the purpose. But yeah, um so right off the bat, that's a problem. Then say you face Swords and Strike down. Okay, I wanna go with my counter, my physical defensive power down. But wait, I do need a plus two close combat, always, even after rocks, but all I can do is toxic it or whirlwind and I can't kill it? God damn it. And you've got specially defensive Corviknight, which is not living a plus two life or pit. So yeah, um, problem. Definitely a problem. Um, what else? So let's say you face Sword Stance Edge's Lash, and you don't have Sucker Punch on this, and you useless with the Corv, useless with Cloyster, you know, all three of these Pokemon are hard-walled by Aegislash. Slash. Now you have a fourth Pokemon hard-walled by it, and Hydreigon takes Chip throughout the in-game entirely. And as you said, you didn't want Clefable, so you don't running any recovery, so it just leaves you in a really awkward position. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, first off, you're gonna need to pick this Earthquake. So we're gonna just rearrange this out a little bit. Stealth Rock, of course, is needed. Earthquake is needed, as I said, and it's Lack on. The last move is either gonna be Toxic or Whirlwind. We're gonna leave this slot blank now, and we can come back to it later. I'm gonna say right now that Whirlwind's more likely as your team plays like bulky offense, and phasing things out could be problematic. It's just gonna do more of the toxic damage, because games are gonna to tend to end quickly as opposed to um, super um, long games. So yeah, that's important. Um, next up, I want to address the Cinderace set. Um, this is a really good Pokemon, and Libero is great, but I think on your team, seeing as um, these Pokemon are functioning as win conditions, um, you definitely want this to be functioning as all-out attacker, so that's great. However, I think that Gunshot is not enough of a makeshift answer to sub command from Arena, just because it's still subbing up on something like Corviknight or Hydreigon with ease. So what I would do I would actually make it Sucker Punch because you don't really have a Ghost Resist that can actually like be Dragapult as your Ghost Resist is uh, currently Hydreigon. In fact, Dragapult just destroys this team as it stands. Even if this is especially defensive, a single Wisp on this, and this only can U-turn, and then just, you can get Ice Shard, you can't really Revenge Build. So this needs Sucker Punch because U-turn from Corviknight can, can tank a hit or two, but then you need Sucker Punch. So right off the bat, I'm making this um, Sucker Punch, and I'm, I'm we're going to find another way to beat Primarina. Yeah, um, so we can keep the other moves. We need Pyro Ball and Zen Headbutt to turn. Um, honestly, you could potentially go with um, Low Kick, or rather High Jump Kick over Pyro Ball on this team, um, which is gonna give you a greater damage output against things like Brachion, um, Charm Black, Hydreigon, and Rotom Heat. But lacking Pyro Ball does mean you don't kill Ferrothorn in one hit. Um, you risk Protect. A lot of things are switching into Ghost types a lot of times. Um, also, on top of that, um, Corvid Knight. So I'm going to keep it this way, but you can potentially switch out U-Turn for a fighting move. I'm going to let you keep it now, though, because you seem to really like the momentum on your team, as I can tell by the side dragon set with also his U-Turn and his Corvid set also his U-Turn. So I'm going to let that go, but you could totally make it high jump kick or low kick in the last slot, if you so please. 
anyway, um, so those two sets are fixed a little bit. I know you said in the comment particularly that you really like the Ted Draken set, but I'm going to be honest, I don't think it has a place on this team. Um, reason being is that you already have Reunic Cloister as dedicated win conditions, and generally speaking, Life Four by Draken is another dedicated win condition. You really can't afford to use U-Turn because U-Turn does so little of things like Cleft that taking the Life Orb damage is just so so bad, especially if you don't have Roost or the ability to heal up yourself, and you can't fit Roost and U-Turn in the same set without having really poor coverage, which you already lack Draco, so that's a big problem in breaking. So. I'm going to suggest actually changing out the Hydreigon, if at all possible. Um, actually, I think keeping Hydreigon is fine, but then you got to change Cloyster. And I know that you were less adamant about using Cloyster when, when talking about the comment. So I'm actually going to say, okay, we're going to need to not use Cloyster here because A, focus stats on sand is just atrocious um, for a number of reasons, but probably mainly because A, you, you are dying to sand more often than not when you brought down the Sash. If you've got sand on your team, it is sand stream after all, and you've got two immunities to it, so it makes sense to do it. And B, um, the whole point of using Cloyster is to flinch things down. It's kind of a cheesy Pokemon inherently, and without that, you kind of lose your ability to break things like Pharaoh Thorn, Corviknight, Toxpex, physically defensive Fable, any unaware Pokemon, etc. So it just makes it even more of a matchup fish that's only good against offensive teams and it doesn't even have a way to luck out of it. So yeah. Um, we're going to say Cloyster isn't going to fit here because you really need a check to a couple other things. And providing the spot for another defensive pivot can not only bolster the offensive presences of Rio Nicholas, Hydreigon, and Court Cinderace, but also it can make it so you're not centric on one specific game plan necessarily. And on top of that, it can give you checks to a couple of things that right now are hard to switch into. So we're going to delete the Cloyster. But now let's work on optimizing these sets. We're going to take it one step at a time before we um, really strip it down. So given that, um, we really want to focus on establishing a game plan to win the game. So for example, against balanced teams, what our game plan could be would be to use Cinderace to generate momentum with U-Turn, or break through their cores with its various coverage moves. Then, your Hydreigon and Green Nicholas potentially sweep. However, your Hydreigon set really isn't much of a sweeper right now. And again, when you're already taking sand damage, you aren't going to want to take life orb damage on top of that with something like U-Turn. It's not using any, really doing any damage, it's just pivoting. So, you could potentially make this a choice scarf Hydreigon. Um, that actually would be really cool. However, I don't think that necessarily would be the play here. Um, you have Pipowdon, and you also have Sucker Punch Cinderace, so Pipowdon can phase some sleepers, and Cinderace can revenge kill them with high speed as you're running plus speed and Sucker Punch, so I'm actually going to suggest that you make this a Nasty Plot Hydreigon with the following coverage. Nasty Plot, Draco, Meteor, Flash Cannon, and Flamethrower. Now, this is the standard set, and it's standard for a reason. It practically hits everything besides Primarina, which we're going to make sure the last Pokemon in our team deals with. And on top of that, even if you get some chip on Primarina, let's say you Earthquake into it, or you get an attack off of your Nicholas, and all of a sudden you're in a great position. Which is ideal. We're also going to go with Plus Speed here. Your team does a great job handling Club Fable with these five Pokemon, so you don't need to always take it out of plus two. You could simply get some chip on it and then go for the plus two flash cannon later on in the game. You just have to be a little patient. Um, we're going to keep the sand stream, by the way, because um, disrupting other weather, which is pretty common on the ladder, and you seem to be more of a ladder player, which is fine with me, um, is important. But if you're not expecting other weather, you could make the sand force so things like Hydreigon and Sidrace don't take sand damage. It's just a side thought. But yeah, anyway. Um, on top of this, steel types tend to potentially be problematic to Reuniclus. In particular, Aegislash can be, um, Jirachi can be, so having Flamethrower Dark Pulse is important, and Flamethrower is better right now because it hits Corviknight. Corviknight is a problem to you as it stands because it hard walls hip out on, no matter what the last move is, and it draws games out a ton. And I know you don't love the Cyclophable fat type of play, and those teams can trouble you as it stands, so making this Flamethrower for those teams is very important. This combination of Flamethrower 3 attack Hydreigon and Ryu Nicholas as a combine sweeper later on in the game. One can soften the other team up for the other, and then it can kind of function as a double special win condition core, if you will. So making this a nasty plot plus three attack with these moves in particular is just ideal in my eyes. Um, next up, let's go to the Ryu Nicholas set, and this is a major problem in my eyes. Um, you absolutely need recover. I'm sorry, you just do. 
this set is kind of aimless. I, I hate to break it to you, but Flash Cannon, it just, it hits Clefable, yes, but if you're in recovery, you actually beat Clefable a lot better because you can switch and repeatedly heal up when Blast is doing like a third health and then combine against it and just either force it out or just kill it. So, yeah, there's no real way around that. In addition, um, seeing as you seem to be really anti Clefable, I'm going to advise making a Psy Shock so you also beat other Clefable. So, Shock, and then we're going to say Flash Cannon isn't the move for sure. Energy Ball is interesting because you do get unaware Quagsire, but against other things, you're not really doing a ton. Seismic Toad, you don't mind because I Dragon Break through. And last Pokemon has to be Primarina. Most Pokemon to be Primarina also tend to do well against opposing um, Seismic Toad. So that's one thing. On top of that, um, well, Energy Ball is Quagsire, but it does zero to Tyranitar anyway. Um, even if it's super effective, you know, and you don't really need it for anything else. I mean, look at the tier. There aren't many things that are weak to grass that take significant damage from it and also um, struggle with like combine side shock. Like, don't struggle with combine plus side shock plus recover as is. So, okay, so first off, we're gonna make this combine recover and side shock for sure. I'm fine with the life orb item. It can potentially be leftovers, but life orb is fine. As for the optimal coverage here, um, now Thunder is my personal go to, but with Hydreigon having a fire move and Cinderace having a fire move, you don't actually need it um, necessarily for the opposing um, Corviknight. But Thunder is more than Corbinite. It also can get paralysis on things like Aegislash, Clefable, etc. And that opens up the game a ton for the rest of your team right now, specifically for Hydreigon and whatever the last Pokemon might be, which I already have an idea of. Um, because of that, I'm really going to suggest Thunder. It also means that you could beat Pex that's hazing against you, despite it being quicker, so you don't have to create speed EVs, which otherwise you probably would have to do. It also means that you could counter Cloister if it doesn't flinch you. The only thing you miss out on is Excadrill, and you have the two best counters in the game in it for Powdon which is Rocky Helmet in particular, and Corviknight as well, which is going to have body press no matter what, but we might rework the set a little bit. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, um, so that's that's dope. Um, Thunder also hits Togekiss, if that ever comes into play. And it does really well against the teams that are trying to like, pivot in their um, Palapur so they can boost a water attack so they can break through later on. So for example, let's say they have uh, Palapur, well, it used to be Drake first, but let's say they have Palapur plus Dreadnought crawled on. Um, they're going to probably pivot to Palper on, say, a combine to recover, and if you catch more than Thunder, then the range gun for the rest of the game, you could set up your sand, and it's a really easy victory. Despite you currently only having one water resist, you're gonna have a last Pokemon that's a water resist as well, to help Cream Marina, but yeah, um, that's something worth noting as well. But anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain you wanna go Thunder, and that also helps a little bit with Cream Marina, but you, it still beats you if it combines on a switch into Thunder. Um, thunder also just bolsters the ability to Purple Tyranitar, because if you get paralysis on it, then eventually it's going to be forced to crunch a bunch into Rocky Helmet, and then you outrun it after a while if they aren't running max speed. And if you don't, then you get paralysis, and you know, kind of can muscle through it in the long haul. It's a long game, but you can win that for sure. So, yeah, I'm advising this set. I'm also going to advise shifting this for special attack just in the speed in case you face a mirror matchup, and you're not going to want to bank up paralysis always, although it does favor you if you go for Thunder early on once you get your combine to them. So, yeah, that's worth noting as well. Next Pokemon is a Corviknight. Um, I'm thinking, do you want Brave Bird for Conkeldar? I guess you don't need that necessarily with a Powdown plus Reuniclus. Um, it's fine. Iron Head, um, if this is Whirlwind, and your last Pokemon Beast Club, you got Cinderace and Combine plus Psyshock Club, you don't need Iron Head. Yeah, this is fine for moves. However, with these moves, even if you're running special defensive, what you want to do is you want to be slower than a power down so you can get a slow U-turn off. So we run minus speed and zero speed EVs. You don't need to outrun anything. Um, thankfully, with a power down and Hydreigon, you're good against Bisharp. Um, the only really other threat is like Mammal Swine, which is a big pain to your team, but there's not much way around that. There aren't many good ice resists right now. Um, you're kind of going to accept losing to um, Mammal Swine, but you could actually check Kiram with max special defense in a pinch. Um, so let's grab Calx of Kiram. Versus Corviknight, running especially defensive. We'll get the bulk up EV spread just for the sake of argument. All right, so right now from Fall, it has a 97.7% chance to KO after leftovers recover. I don't think that's right. Yeah, it's doing 40. Florida. I'm reloading this. Hold up. You see, this isn't right. Because this has no chance to itch go. You, you aren't seeing 
what is um, showing up here. The, the text on the side is wrong. All right, whatever. We'll do the math mentally here um, versus the Corviknight. I'm sorry, it's kind of cut off. Um, okay, so 40, so 52. So this is with max max. So with a turn of leftovers, that puts you at 106.25. So 53.2 is too much. 52.7. So we want to give it 252 and 236 plus. So 236 plus. I know this defense was relevant for a couple calculations, but you're very weak to Kiram, and your last probably isn't going to be able to check it plus Primarina. So what you want to do is you want to have a soft check like Sidrace plus an actual like Ice Beam Pivot. As long as it's not modest, you just got to keep rocks off in that match repeatedly, and you're going to be okay. That's also another reason why Hydreigon and this team runs plus speed. But yeah, um, so that's great. And now you can just throw the extra 20 into the defense stat, if you so please. Um, yeah, because it helps with the other calculus from before. All right, and last Pokemon. So you want to check Primarina and have another water resist. What else are you vulnerable to? Aegislash, Slash, mm, not so much. Switching into a Spec Shadow Ball could be annoying though. Okay, Fish Sharp, you're fine against. Cinderace, you're fine against. Clefable, you're mostly fine against. Um, you just gotta watch out for Life Orb, physically defensive variants, but that's fine. Um, Conk, you've got Hippo plus Free Nicholas, but still got a little scary. Um, we're gonna run Whirlwind here just for bulk up Corviknight and also for um, like BU Conkledur, um, Substitute Jirachi, um, Opposing Rear Nicholas, Leftovers Combined, variants of um, a fable that you can't break through immediately, any like setup new that's not taunt, and Sword Stance or Belladrum Como, I guess. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, and just Toxic isn't really needed here. Unfortunately, you don't have any status on the team right now, but yeah. Um, so, good against Drill for sure, and Dragapult is a threat. Okay, Dragapult, that's, that's the main issue. Dragapult, thankfully you've turned into Sucker, but still, that's not great. So you want to be good against Dragapult. Free Marina shreds this, as we said. Oh yeah, Whirlwind saves you against Holucha, that's important. Um, Gengar's a nuisance. So, Ghost Types in Free Marina. Am I looking at that right? Yeah, Ghost Types in Free Marina. So, the obvious answer to this is Toxitex. And in particular, especially defensive tox specs, as um, it's really good against all those options. And you don't need physical defense for Drake Fish anymore. I'm gonna suggest tox specs. Um, and that's what I'm gonna make it, but if you want something a bit more woke, because I know you're not like a big Clefable player, then um, you could go with like an assault best or especially defensive utility like taunt variant of Rillaboom which is very experimental and I've not yet to try out and I don't have EV spread for unfortunately. And I'm doing talk specs, but I'm saying like, if you really want that, then you can have like a soft check, all those things in that, but it only switches in one or two times and they're gonna get in repeatedly against a Powdown and Corviknight. So that's why I recommend talk specs. Um, oh no, we replaced Hydreigon. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Hydreigon. Oh, no, 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 not Hydro Cannon. Ha ha ha. Light Orb, Next Plot, Meteor, Flash Cannon, Cannon Thrower. Sanity V-Spread, okay, that's great. How long is this team taking? Oh my God, we're already at 20 minutes. This, this might have to be a five or a six part video. Holy shit. Um, whew, this can take forever. Um, you know what? I really hope um, hope you guys um, are okay. I might cut this in half. I might only do five teams of video. So we're gonna make this like a six or a seven part series. Yeah, um, so I'm going really in depth on these teams. If the other teams, we'll have to wait and see. I'll probably cut it off at around an hour at this point. Yeah, so we got like 30 more minutes, 40 more minutes. Um, but anyway, last is gonna be Tox Specs. Um, but we're gonna do some interesting stuff with the set. First up, I wanna make it Toxic Spikes um, because that synergizes really well with Rio Nicholas. But I also wanna make it Poison Jab to beat Primarina because in theory, if you get, if you're Haze, you still don't always beat it if you take a knockoff plus a Scald Burn. Um, it can eventually stall your recovers. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make it Poison Jab for Primarina for sure, actually. Recover. Um, so now it's two of Haze, Toxic, Toxic Spikes, Knockoff, Scald. Um, Scald really, really, really isn't needed here. And you don't have a knock. Wait, why do I have two Hydreigon now? Oh my god, I replaced it Pout on. I'm an idiot. I am so sorry. Um, we're making this a Pout on again. I don't know why I was thinking. Rocky Helmet, Rock, Earthquake. Um, oh, I'll make it get Slack off. Earthquake, Whirlwind. 
Yup. Both work is four and special defense. I believe that's where I had it. Yeah, anyway, talk to so Black Sludge is our item, of course. Um, we really need a knockoff because we really don't need skulls. So we're gonna go knockoff. And now the last move is just it kind of depends. Um, um uh, let me think here. Sorry, I just had to take some water. Oh, what's really cool about Poison Jab, by the way, and I know you don't like the Fable, is Poison Jab wastes Wish PP so quickly. Um, I think Haze is really important on this team. Yeah. Um, we're gonna make it Haze, okay. That's fine. Uh, like we're gonna make max HP for sure. Sorry, just having connectivity issues right now, 248. Um, Tox effects. Turn some calc here. How can we make sure we look sure ice uh, freeze dry as well and get a knockoff on it? Because then Corvette counters it for sure. I'd like to live it after rocks. We're gonna make it calm for sure. 87.5, so it's okay. 86, so 248. Does this still do it? Yeah, okay. 248, 44 plus for sure. That's the minimum special defense for Sparky. Keep in mind we're going minus special attack because we only have physical attacks in this set. Okay, um, let's kick Specs Dragapult. And we're gonna make it modest, of course. And I wanna cook Shadow Ball. After rocks, and what if we get burnt? 10.9. Oh, yeah, the same as being knocked off is burnt, so it's a very common scenario, obviously. All right, so 108 min. 108 is the main special defense mark. Um, that also means that Draco is capping out at 70, so we have a very good chance, if we're not burnt, to live Draco 70 max, 71 plus 36, brings you to 107, but this isn't even 71 into rounding, so 70.6 plus half of that is less than 106.25, which is full health plus leftover, so you live two Dracos as well if you're not burnt or not. So yeah, this is the sweet spot, 108. Um, now let's click Specs Aegislash. Jesus, 55. Okay, we still need more to even live without rocks. That's a pain in my ass. It's 160. So we're going to make it 160. Um, now I want to make sure I always live a Conkel or Earthquake just in case that ever comes into play. Yeah, okay, so we're going to need at least 40 defense. Okay. Um, yeah, now let's count Free Marina real quick. Sub, um, Poison Jab. I mean, if it's no defense, yeah, we always break the sub, of course, even if, yes, um, but what if he's, what if, hypothetically speaking, they were pulled 250, it should always break, yeah, okay, we always break the sub regards, even if they run some head-ass spread. Um, hmm. Let's make sure we always live a zero or ahead as well, just in case. It's like mixed and we want to fuck around. This is from Magnet, but after sand, okay, no, after burn. No, after burn. All right, so we want to make it do under 73.5, basically. So yeah, okay, 44 does the trick. We still have 56 EVs to spare, um, which is delightful. Um, oh, let's make sure we live life or fall while we're at it. Yeah, okay, this is 101.3. Just because that's semi-common right now, even if it's not like super common. Yeah, that brings it to 72. So we got like we're running out of EVs here, but we're making it very relevant. That's kind of the key to EVing these set of things. Um, let's see if we live a plus two cloister always. Yeah, we live that with ease still, no doubt about that. I don't know what I was thinking here. Um Chandelure. True specs. No, we're not burned anymore. No, now we're healthy and we're black sludge attack. But we're also plus special defense. And rocks are up. 25, 28. Okay, how about modest from. Yeah, okay, there we go. Modest from full with black sludge attack. 6.3. So we could just clamp down on that. So we need 200. Can we afford 200? No, we can't. Um, okay, so what's the next jump point? 1.2. Is this at 184? We can do 184 with 4 EVs to spare. And, um,. I don't 
really care where the poor EVs go. We'll just make it an HP. Um, you know, actually, we'll make it attack because why the hell not? Sure. Um, you could really throw to this four EVs anywhere. But yeah, um, this is the first team that we got through with. I quite like the result of it. So, Niku, uh, Kirio, Gian, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, we're still going to go for other teams. We're probably going to cut this off an hour, though. So, initially, I started trying to do 11 teams. I don't think that's possible anymore. We're probably going to have like five or six. Done. Okay. Um, Raymond St. John, team number two. He's debating Powdon versus Seismitoad. Okay, let's look at this team here. It looks really good right off the bat. Um, a lot of things I like about it, but there are some things I unfortunately dislike about it as well. Um, first and foremost, while you do have a Defogger, I think you really, really, really want Heavy Duty Boots on this Cinderace, just because this team plays pretty bulky, so that gives them a lot of opportunity to set up South Rocks, and you don't want to always be obligated to go Corviknight, even if you have Wishclef. It just it helps a lot better. And I think that in addition to that, I'd really make it bulk up because you have no win condition right now. You just have a bunch of pivots and a hard hitter and Dragapult. So I think that's optimal. I really don't think you need U-turns coverage at all. And the pivoting, while it's nice, I don't think it does a ton because you're a bulkier team and you're going to be just teleporting into it anyway. Use a breaker. So what I'm going to do is make it heavy duty boots. Um, you don't have a ghost resist, so I want to make it sucker punch. I'll bulk up first, of course. Um... Sucker Punch for potential Dragapult, why not? Um, I like these six Pokemon, by the way. Um, yeah, six Pokemon is good, it's just... I think you gotta be careful. Um, this should be Earthquake 2 for Primarina. Yeah, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, I really think you want... The thing is that without Pex coverage, it sucks. Um, without Fighting Move... You go, okay, Pyro Ball and Zen Headbutt. All right, you're not gonna be able to kill a um, Kiram or Hydreigon in one hit. You, you pretty much walled a little bit by Hydreigon, but if you get above, if you get down to 50%, you can easily do this. You've got a million and one ways to chip it, then you're in fine shape. And if you're really paranoid about Hydreigon, just take off Sucker Punch for Low Kick or High Jump Kick, and you should be fine. But yeah, this is personally what I recommend. Um, also, actually, you've got two Cinderace counters. You're making this, we're making this adamant. Yeah, we don't mind being slower than Gengar. We can Sucker Punch it. Um, it's just Keldeo, and you've got you got two of the best cards in the game for it. So yeah, this is actually is a perfect team for Adamant. Um, let's look at speed tiers here. Because um, Adamant isn't super common, despite Joey um, saying it is. I swear it isn't. Um, 337. And there's no one runs max speed to Lucha, so We could actually under creep some speed to have some bulk if we want. Um, personally, I'm going to do that. Um, 329 is where you want to hit. Yeah. We'll hit 330 just in case someone like else creeps that. It's the same idea. And we could add 32 to HP. That's great, because now you can lift it even better. And you got Adamant, so breaking a Powdown with Pyro Ball or Zen Headbutt is even easier. Not that you have status for a Powdown, so this is just great. Oh, I love this. Okay. Um, with regards to a Powdown versus Seismitoad, um, a Powdown makes you a lot better. Is this physically special? Okay, you need a Powdown. Which sucks, because that means that you gotta have to run packs for pre so we're gonna change that. But yeah, um, a Powdown is important for Bisharp. Um, you really need it only set up to Drake and Bishpada. Now this is better. Um, it's better for, let's go down the list. It's better for Sewer Stance, Aegis Slash, Slash, Choice Band, Aegis Slash. Um, especially, you can match, we'll, we'll change the spread a little bit. We don't need max physical defense anymore um, with that band. It's also better for Bishop because Bishop is real uh, physical defense Corviknight. Yeah, you can actually bulk up in his face and you kind of check it, but it's not the most reliable check. Anyway, um, better for Cinderace in the long haul because you got recovery naturally. You don't need to rely on Wish as much. It's better for your Clef, but also opposing Clef because you can well end out Clef. And on top of that, you also have the ability to check X drill better if it's rock slide, which means you can break through especially defense of Corviknight, as you can't kill it with one body press, especially. Or if Corviknight takes a burn or a knock, then yeah. Um, worse against Keldeo, but you've got two best checks throughout the game. Better against Como. Um, both stuck against Kiram, and you're much better against Trackham, which is the big one, and Zera Aura with Grass Knot. At least you don't die in one hit, you die in two hits. That's cool. We're going to make it Rocky Helmet. We're actually going to use the same set as last team. Um, Sandstream, I actually really prefer Sand Force on this team. You got one, two, three things taking damage. And also, you're really good against other weather with Toxpex plus Dragapult plus Priority plus Corviknight and Wish to Protect. Yeah, I mean, I think you're fine. So I'm going to go Sand Force here. Um, you can change that back though if you like it otherwise. Slack off, Earthquake, and Whirlwind. This is actually, a really, this is probably one of my favorite teams that I've seen of this bunch. I haven't actually been able to go through all of them, but yeah. Um, the spread, that's fine. Same one as last team. Um, yeah, okay, we're gonna move this forward. 
defense. It actually helps with conquer the rolls, but also want to zero out the speed IVs, but don't, not quite zero them out, seven them out, if you will. Oh, eight, yeah. So this lets us outrun opposing a powdown, but we can still have the slower teleport than other clef. Um, this is basically the clef I run like every other team of mine. So yeah, um, I hope that helps. Anyway, I'm just gonna get the water. We're still not quite done yet, but this is a great start. I'm just gonna need some little edits now. We are at probably the 30 minute mark. You're at 35, 11, Jesus, okay. Um, skull, recover, toxic haze. Um, I think we need poison jab for Primarina. And I know this is kind of a repeat thing, but also helps for Clef a ton, and you really want to leave Clef weakened. Um, we're gonna make oh, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this poison jab. Nah. Yes. And now hear me out here. And if you feel differently, you totally can just change it. But a having a knockoff user is huge for Specs Dragapult and Cinderace rolls, knocking things off like your Power Downs leftovers, Corviknight's leftovers, Fables leftovers, etc. It's just huge knockoff helmet. For Cinderace to also do more damage with things like Zen Headbutt, potentially flinch at your plus one, so they can't phase you out. It's huge. I think the damage it goes such a long way. I know dropping a Skull feels weird, but a Powdown actually covers everything you want to burn, all the physical attackers, especially in conjunction with Corviknight and Wish Support. And you have priority to take them out of the chip anyway. So yeah, the only thing you lose out on is burning, but you're poisoning with Poison Jeff anyway. So that's super clutch. And in addition to that, um, actually wait, we're going to make a Toxic Powdown. Yeah, because you only need. Yeah, you're good against Corviknight anyway. You're good against not Corv You're good against bulk of Corviknight with Haze anyway and Cinderace. But couple that with the fact that Halucha, you could still Toxic and then you could protect around and you could live a plus. You could even just live a plus two acrobatics at him always. Um, we can still run some special defense. So yeah, we're gonna. This is like the optimal set for this team and a lot of teams. Poison Jab packs uh, something I like love because in theory against a Prima Arena team, you're gonna get burnt by Skull 100%. They're probably gonna have like a Pharaoh Thorn or something with knockoff for your pack. So let's say you're taking 6.25% every turn. If not, then you, know, you can have sand on this hip up. It takes that much turn for a lot of turns anyway. So that, plus the fact that you're taking plus one wound blast slash fall repeatedly, plus the fact that you're probably gonna have a lot of physical defense, so you're not like special defense, so it's doing like 25%. You're gonna run out of recover before they run out of combine PP, before they run out of attacking PP. And since you can't break their sub with poison jab, you just don't have it on those sets, then you actually lose the one you want. So Pex isn't actually an answer to Prima Arena. It's just a lazy way out. So running Poison Jab gives you some permanence there. And you still have Haze for other set of sleepers and to mitigate the Prima Arena issue in the short term. So yeah, um, this is just kind of like a big brain pack set that is really good in the metagame right now because it's also great against Clefable, which literally is the metagame. Um, you do like 40 to 45%. As you might have seen on my ladder videos for Dragfish Suspect, I ran this set. And on top of that, you're also poisoning it for something like Hex which I'm gonna give this over. We're actually gonna rearrange this set right now. Um, so I run Thunder, but with Toxic on Hippo, you're gonna always be good against Mandibuzz, so you don't need Thunder. Um, just thinking, is Fire Blast? Oh, also, I always run, yeah, you're modest already. Um, this Flamethrower, from Specs, it should do the trick. Yeah, let me talk, um, drag a pull. Modest, Specs, Flamethrower, versus Excadrill. Oh yeah, always killing. Let me go max special defense fire out there real quick. Oh, on the sweet spot. Corviknight with max special defense. Always too young. Okay, so we, need, we don't even need Fire Blast, we need Flamethrower is better. Yeah, okay, so this is actually the optimal set here because now you've got two status spreaders. Um, and Hex is great because let's say you poison the clef with poison jab, which is gonna happen literally every game. If not, then you can actually use toxic in the clef. Then Specs Modest Tech actually chokeos it, and that's huge. Getting rid of clef cuts off their lifeline, and then you can just pry away at the team. So this is actually a really big improvement here. And I still was already a good team, but now this makes it a great team. I'm really enthusiastic about this, but holy shit, like we gotta optimize. Um, so yeah, now let's get into the pack spread real quick. You don't need to touch the Dragapult spread. I mean, you can dim down on speed a little bit, but actually, since you don't have a true ghost resist, you just have Clefable and what's going to be a special defensive back soon, you actually don't want to run unless speed. You want to be able to potentially win ties or be quicker than ones that like under creep a little bit, so you have some bulk to live a zero or a knockoff, which you do live with 40 HP after Stealth Rock. For what it's worth. Um, yeah, so Pex. Um, 
this team wants more physical defensive points, maybe? I don't think so, actually. Um, we want to always live plus two Halucha, that's the big thing. Plus two, without the item. Um, yeah, well, actually, you know, let me hold up on the counter here. Okay, I want to look at it. Hold up. What if we run bold? We always want to live sky attack. I know they tend to run grassy seed now, but sky attack is still a set. So I don't always live this up to yourself. Like, how much do I need? It's a lot. Oh my god, that's too much. Mm. Well, we do live it up to stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. And acrobatics without the item. And plus two is doing. Only 69.3 in this poison jab always breaks up if we're impish. I don't think they're gonna run sub ever, but just in case, because then you don't have well and hip out on, so it's important. Yeah, this 25.5 min if they're not running HP, and it should all be very favorable. So, do we wanna run this much? Yeah, I think we have to. We got special defensive class and special defensive Corvette anyway. So 248, 156 plus minus, and um, I don't wanna necessarily just throw it all into the special yet. Let me run some chalks. Actually, Salazzle is kind of annoying. <laughs> oh boy. All right, I'm not gonna overthink it. Let's just call Kara. And make it modest. Yeah, there we go. We don't even have an op, do we? 112? Do we have 112? 104? What does 104 give us? We can actually go down to 100 and we have the same roll as 104. So we're going to go 100 here. And we'll throw 4 into attack because just that's like my Finch signature in this team. This like video, I guess. We're just throwing 4 into attack and all our attack specs. Fuck it. Um, you could put the 4 really anywhere, of course, besides special attack. Yeah, this is good. This is good. So we covered all 5 of these. We just got Corvette down. Uh, mirror armor? No, 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 no. Need pressure. Pressure is far more important um, in the long games for sure. Pressure should really be the only ability ever used on any Corviknight, besides like random like Scarf or Banded ones that are only on meme teams. Let's say you set up Stealth Rock with your Powdown as they go to Corviknight. You waste two Stealth Rock PP, so therefore the Stealth Rock PP divided by two is lesser than Defog PP. But if you go to your Corviknight on the Defog, you're making them waste two Defog PP to even it out. Therefore, you're able to keep rocks up in the long haul if you keep forcing the same sequence. That's really important in these drawn out games with these Clef, Pex, Hippo teams with Corb. So you need pressure. That's very important. Iron Head is no longer needed with Poison Jab, in my opinion, especially when you're making the bulk up, right? You know, for so, especially with Hippo, which is even better against Clef because you can actually do damage with Earthquake. So I don't think you actually need that. I think you want U turn to get in Cinderace and Dragapult. It's gonna function as more of an aggressive pivot, is why. I think you actually wanna run the same set the last two did. I'm actually gonna steal it from that team. Um, same exact spread, too. Yeah. I've been paused. I don't know how long I've been paused. Holy shit. I'm so sorry. I just finished the whole Raymond St. John team and I was like popping off. It says I'm at 43 minutes. Um, wow. I. I'm pretty sure I was close to that regardless. Um, maybe it was just a brief pause. Oh, crap, I'm still getting so used to this OBS. I'm so sorry. Anyway, let me just go over this team again really quickly. If this is a repeat. I'm sorry guys, just skip through 30 seconds. Um, basically, I made the hit powder. I made the size of the into a powder. down. I'm sure you guys caught that. Um, I made it toxic as well to help against things like Halucha and Immediate and also just forcing status for Specs Hex Dragapult. I made it Hex over, um, I made it Hex. Um, I also made it Flamethrower because Flamethrower still kills. Special Defensive Firethorn and Exedrill. And you two accuse even Special Defensive Corviknight. You don't need Fire Blast. But yeah, also Hex is super important with all the status. Poison Jab Clef that helped check Primarina. And this spread in particular helped you live a plus two Sky Attack after Stealth Rock from Halucha. Um, we made it under IV'd the Clef a little bit. Um, Cinderace, we made bulk up plus sucker punch. It's really good. And you lack a ghost resist, so it helps with that. Sucker punch helps with ghost types. And also, you don't need plus speed in this team as you got multiple Cinderace checks in your team with Pex plus Hippo, plus even Dragapult if it's not sucker punch. Um, also, I gave it some HP just because you don't need other. No other Cinderace really running at a minute of time, so you could just run this. You still outrun base 100s, even if they're plus speed. So, yeah, and I creeped them even by a couple. 
and the bulk is cool for the powder on and stuff and it's fable so yeah um this spread also lets you live a curum freeze dry that's modest almost always and timid always and this core is the same as the other team please tell me we're not paused here we're still not paused okay um that helps with this um you'll have two curum ice beam if need be for timid even with, with leftovers, of course, and um, it also helps you with Dragapult in a pinch if need be. So yeah, um, this is a really good team. I was just praising the team a ton, and I guess it got cut off. I really hope not, not much was missed. I'm sorry if it was, but yeah. Um, okay, now we're going to go into the Tapeworm teams. Um, we're probably going to get through one or two of these. I'm sorry, this is going to be like a 10-part series at this point. Oh god, why am I so in-depth? Um, okay, we're going to go through one more team, and then we're going to say we're going to try and go through more of these over the weeks. Yeah, I'm actually my like, close team submissions. Jesus. Um... We're at 45 minutes. Okay. Um, that's fine. And this looks like a pretty solid build. Okay, good job to Mr. Um, Tapeworm. Alright, we'll go through both your teams then. Um, right off the bat, we got Clef. Is it under IV? Yeah, it is. Okay, great. Um, I just got I love my move order, sorry. Yeah, okay. Um, so this is solid. Um, right now the team's really weak to toxic spikes though. This is heavy duty boots. Is this Vex? Iron defense. The team is really weak to Bisharp unless this is foul play quick. It's not foul play quick. Okay, we need to make this 240 for Bisharp. I know you're losing some physical defense. Oh, I don't know. I have equal sound there. Um, 41. It also outruns plus speed Aegis Slash and Primarina then. And you can pump up the rest in defense. Yeah. Iron defense, I really hate on a combo right now. Um, Taunt accomplishes the same things, which is beating the defoggers like Mandibuzz and Corviknight. And Iron Defense is never sweeping because every team is a fairy type and faster, stronger attackers right now, especially in the special end like Hydreigon and Kiram. So we're never sweeping with Iron Defense. It's just not worth it. It's a very outdated move, the last slot in my eyes. But the rest of this team is great. So Earthquake, this is like mandatory. As for the last move, um, Taunt is really good for keeping Stealth Rock up. But if you didn't have Mandibuzz for Dragapult, then I'd say run Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor also hits Hydreigon and Kyurem, but Body Press doesn't number them anyway, so I'm going to say run Taunt, just because you also have more speed now, so you should outrun most Mandibuzz too, and all Corviknight, so yeah, this is actually really good, this set now. Um, Mandibuzz, do you need special defense on this team? I guess it's the main ghost resist, even if you have Cuomo for Shadow Balls, it's really good for Specs Flash Cannon. You get 220, yup. Um, I'm going to say this is fine. Toxic is really good here for Rotom Heat. I love that you have Toxic on this. Um, again, move, move order OCD. I don't like having moves of the same type near each other. So you don't mind that. Um, but yeah, this is a great set. I, I think this is perfect for the team, honestly. I'm just worried about how you handle Toxic Specs in the long haul. Particular Toxic Specs, Toxic Specs. So we're going to make sure this is Pyro Ball. Zen, Zen Headbutt. Yeah, okay. Bulk up. Pyro Ball. Um, I want to make this low kick. We're going to actually explain this. Wait, did I just pause? Thank God I didn't pause. Okay. Um, no, why, wait, low kick, yeah, sorry, okay, let me explain, because you guys are going to be curious about this, low kick is great, because besides Gastrodon and Rotom Heat, you either hit everything just as hard with low kick, or the Pokemon you don't, such as Ferrothorn and Excadrill, you kill with Pyro Ball with ease, so this means you no longer have to risk the potential chance of missing and just losing half your health, or hitting into a ghost type and losing half your health, or hitting a protect and losing half your health. You see the theme here, you don't risk that. So Pyro Ball enables low kick. And against Rotom Heat, you now have Toxic Mandibuzz and Como and Wish Pass. Plus Zed Headbutt does a lot to it anyway. But also on top of all of that, against Gastrodon, I'm assuming this is Gas Knot, it has to be, right? Yeah. So that's fine. And also you can just Toxic it and that makes this easier. Um, Shadow Ball, Flash Cannon, Toxic. Now, are you good up against Snorlax? Yeah, you've got Como with Taunt plus Knockoff, Mandibuzz plus Bulk Up Cinderace with Extra Pill Zero. Oh, you're good against against that, so Shadow Sneak should be fine last to give you priority. You don't actually have a true Scarfer, but I'm just thinking. Yeah, Shadow Sneak last is right. I agree with you. Um, I prefer the. No, nothing when it doesn't matter. What am I saying? Sorry. Um, definitely want Jolly on this team. Yeah, this is perfect. Um, and then this set last, um, now that you don't have Seismitoad in the tier, Grass Knot to Ochko that well, okay, it is in the tier, don't get me wrong, sorry, let me restate. Now that you don't have Drake Vision in the tier, the mandate Seismitoad being used a ton. Grass Knot with Extra Belt is less appealing, because you're still going to Tokyo most physically defensive Rocky Helmet in Powdown, especially with Stealth Rock, which Como is a reliable rocker, and you taunt Defoggers, and particularly they run Drill a lot. 
Wait, you're really weak to drill. Holy shit. Ooh, bad. That's really bad. Okay. Um, gotta make this foul play. And we need to make this plus defense. Wishing the Como is okay. Let me calculate something here. Um, okay, can we make this do 66? Yeah, oh, we're fine. 66.5, does this do? 33, okay, perfect. So only an 80 defense. Yeah, 80. 80. So now you live a drill iron head to a plus two iron head, in case it ever comes into play. Yeah, and now foul play, it does over half, as you can see, it does 66 to 78, if you can see that. But yeah, um, so this is perfect. I know you lose your knockoff user, but we're making this knockoff, I promise. Because you don't need play rough on this team. It only hits Como O, and you can toxic Como O with Manda Buzz or Angel Slash, perfectly lower, and Cinderace Lure is that too. This is Libero, right? Yeah, okay. This is great. And we're actually gonna make this um Do you wanna make it leftovers or magnet? You know what? Magnet's great because breaking, because weakening clef more for Como's Earthquake to two kill special defense of clef is perfect. Because like Plasma Fist in Earthquake Earthquake actually does that with Magnet. Yeah, okay. This is great. I really like this team. You just gotta be careful against Toxic Spikes. I know you know can't knock packs with Mandibuzz. That's the only downside of this, but trust me, there are other ways around it. Um, yeah, and if push comes to shove, um, what you can do is um, you could make Clef Aromatherapy over Teleport, but I really don't, I, I don't like that personally. Yeah, you know, actually this is better, like this. And Plasma Fist with Magnet does way more to packs as well. That's perfect, okay, this rounds out really nicely. Okay, so Tapeworm's first team is done. And I really like it, by the way. It turned out nicely. Tapeworm's second team is probably going to be at the 51 minute mark. Okay, let's see if we can speed through this before an hour mark. Um, again, okay, it's actually a pretty similar team. Oh, Swords Dance Rillaboom. Okay, I guess that's the focus of the team. Um, this is going to be really weak to Corviknight, but it's fine. Swords Dance, Drum, Eating, Rain Punch, Knockoff. Um, Thank you, here. Is Corviknight heavy? Um, what we love being low kick versus superpower. Low kick is only 80 base power, never mind. Drain punch is, I guess, better here. Um, I still don't love it. I'd prefer. Not be tantrum maybe, but it's fine. Um, this will do. This is, this is the focus of your team. It's a new toy. You want to try it out? I totally get that. Okay. Um, spec sex requires some status support. This has to be. Um, you know, with this set, we're actually good against Prima Marina, so we don't need any bullshit. We just haze. Toxic spike, perfect. Okay, you have the exact set I was thinking. Yeah. And um, this is roughly the special defense we have in the other team. Um. But we do have an ice fist. Okay, so it's really only for Shadow Ball. We do have Como, you know. This is perfect. Okay, yeah. No, I like this set perfectly. It fits. Spikes. Scald. Recover. Haze. Sorry, just my personal move. But I might use these teams in the lives. That's why I make them. You could always just change it back. Last. Teleport. Protect. Yup. Um, the four defense genuinely helps for facade rolls and comp. That's something I always do. Yeah, seven. Yup. That's smart. I think people actually started doing that with me, ironically enough. So yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, you need speed for Bishop on this team as well. It's just, it's too, it's not worth risking the flinch. I'm sorry. Like 241 again. Um, and we're gonna basically just do the same set of last team, yeah. Um, stop the rock, body press, earthquake, taunt. Perfect, okay. I don't like Willow a lot. Um, toxic, despite size, without going, is still really, really good. Um, but also, you have no defog on this team. And Spikes gets really annoying since it's a three Pokemon. So we're gonna actually make it. Um, sorry, I don't know why I clicked that. Do we wanna make it a defog set? Fuck. I hate Nasty Plot plus defog. It's just like the other. Uh, the epitome of like overly compressed team building. 
but I think you might need that because you really don't want to go full pivot set. You don't have the breaking power to abuse that. You don't have like a Kyurem or a Drakion or a Spex Angel Slash. You only have Spex Dragapult. And you also need this to be fast and have nasty plot plus to stretch or break things like Roost Togekiss or Morning Sun Togekiss. Yeah, so you need... I, 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 I'm sorry, you have to make this will was But with Toxic Spikes, plus Skull, you have enough to spread status anyway. I personally like this in special defense to help with Kyurem rolls as well, by the way, so Ice Team doesn't always do a million. And yeah, um... I... 295, does this even need plus speed? You're gonna outrun... Gyarados, um, Modest Gem, which isn't super common. Pokis, you're not doing any damage to anyway. Sandalore, they all run modest anyway. Mammoth Lord is modest. Um, Extra Lord is timid. Um, Rayquaza doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, you want to run Adamant in my eyes. I'm sorry. 269. And that puts you, you know, Rillaboom is so common right now. Everyone's just spamming a lot, but you actually want to run max speed despite nothing, nothing else being relevant. This actually. Other ones don't run Drain Punch, everyone. Being quicker is to play here. Being quicker is definitely to play. Okay, so yeah, it's perfect. Um, and then, do you need U-Turn? Actually, I think without the Ghost Resist, you want Thunder for Manda Buzz. Um, and I personally would make this plus attack. You're not worried about Scarf Drakefish anymore, even if you give like, a couple soft checks to it. But it doesn't exist anymore, obviously. But without the Ghost Resist, you still want to at least be tying them. So yeah, um, it's kind of a mid-round I draw. This is good though. Yeah, um, hey, good work to tapeworm. Please tell me I'm not paused. Yeah, no, we're at 56. We can actually go through one more team. Um, wait, did I have two parentheses done? Yeah, I did. Oh, wait, I did dash. Wait, I'm gonna make this parentheses done. Oh my god. Sorry, OCD. All right, we'll go to um, Nick Dixon's team. So we're gonna get whopping five teams done in an hour. I This is slow. It's gonna be like a video every day type thing for the next week until the LC, I guess. So yeah, you guys are getting a lot more content, that's for sure. Hope you enjoy that. Um, uh, this looks suspect, not gonna lie. I'm not loving this. Um, okay, this is a lot of issues. A lot of good things too, though. Um, if you're Nick Dixon Austin. So I'm assuming the focus is um, Liberon. Oh my god, I love this nickname. <laughs> oh, Liberon James. Yeah, it's almost what I am, guys. Liberon James. All right. Um, yeah, I think that, um, you, the only bad thing about the set is you don't hit packs. So, you got this to abuse packs. I can't condone this EV spread. But, yeah, we're gonna have to rework this EV spread a little bit. I know it's probably for something in particular, but with 57 HP, you really want to max out HP. You don't need max special attack on this, I'm telling you. In fact, we're gonna take the spread from my rain team right now. We're gonna replace the uh, Young Rush, of course. Yeah, the range may just live today. Hold up, let me go all the way down here. Where's the rain? Oh, there it is. The Primarina. Uh, I mean. Oh my god, it paused again. Are you kidding me? We're at 58 minutes, so I didn't even get my whole. Oh my god. I need to figure out this issue with my hotkeys. I guess they like reset and it fucked with me and paused. We're gonna go through the whole Nick Dixon team again, though. Um, I don't know how much was gotten into. This sucks. I'll figure this out next time, I promise. Um, so, I made a lot of changes that are all practical. I'm going to explain why. We'll go set by set. Um, this set was really good, but we needed body press, for, in particular for Bisharp, but also we wanted speed to help check Conk Helder, which is important because this team was really weak to it. Defensively, it came in on size a lot and just drain punched all day. So, we gave it speed for Conk Helder. Um, we pimped out defense. Otherwise, we don't need attack for anything. I ran through some calcs. Um, my head and also just thought through we didn't need it always two kills Cal did always two kills conk we're not killing either of them one with even 40 attack of so yeah and then 16 defense just lets you live specs drag of fire blast always so yeah this is just a set i've always been using in a lot of the time um now i run body press you turn jump the scene he's brave for conk so yeah um i made this zen headbutt over sucker punch because we make clefable over hat which is really good against ghost types like dragapult and spec shadow ball from either gengar or either slash tank so you don't need that, but also this means you've got one less answer to talk specs, making the Zen headbutt's huge. And the trade-off is you don't need to talk punch for ghost types as much because you have an actual check to them instead of like relying around pivoting and then just firing something off every time they come in safely. So yeah, that's important. Um, we made some bulk added to the Hall Lucha because we don't need max speed for anything besides opposing Hall Lucha, which 
we're already checking with its Corviknights at always, so yeah, it's been tying them, it's not gonna work, because they're gonna get on Burden off first, not likely good. Or you already got on Burden off first, so yeah, it, it's never a speed tie, of course. Um, I'm still not paused, which thank god, I gotta fix this later. Um, we made Sazmatode Earthquake for Pre Marina, and that made it minus defense, so then we actually, minus speed rather, so then we actually ran 8 speed to outrun. Pelper and Vaporeon and Umbreon just in case that everything was applied. Specifically Pelper getting the knock off before the U-turn's huge because a lot of people don't under creep. And yeah, the rest of that was fine. We turned the hat into the Fable because we really needed something for ghost types. It was the only weakness of the team. And we already have a defogger, so we don't need magic bounce at all. It just made the team so much more coherent. And also Wish just bolsters everything. Finally, we made a Dragapult spell tag, spreading Hex Wisp, specifically Wisp on both debuggers, Manda Buzz and Corviknight, and Wisp on Tox Specs was important to negate leftovers. And Hex is just really versatile. And having a U-turn to pivot into the choice band Cinderace is just huge. This is the best way to abuse Cinderace. So finally, we finished five teams. This took forever. So we're actually gonna spread this out. We might do a couple videos today. We might do one video every day until DLC. But yeah, unfortunately, instead of 10 or 11 teams, we only got done five teams. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Really deep diving the team. I'm probably gonna post this tomorrow afternoon. But yeah, um, we're at the one hour, one minute mark. So we're finally gonna stop it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a lot of serious team building. I gave a lot of serious analysis. So please, if you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments and leave a like. If you have any constructive criticism, let me know. And I've got to fix my OBS, so I'm going to go do that. Have a great night, guys. Peace.